Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Varun and I am currently pursuing M.Tech from IIT Bombay. In this video, we are going to discuss about M.Tech TA versus M.Tech RA at IIT Bombay. There are many students who are confused between the two and don't know which one to choose. Both of them have their own pros and cons. This video will compare both the options so you can decide which one is the best for you. To give you some background, IIT Bombay offers two M.Tech programs, M.Tech TA and M.Tech RA. Both of them have the same coursework, but the duration of MTech TA is 2 years and the duration of MTech RA is 3 years. MTech RAs devote 20 hours per week on their assistantship, whereas MTech TAs devote 8 hours per week. I have received several questions from candidates like is it worth it to spend the extra year at MTech RA or should I drop MTech TA and join MTech RA? I will answer all such questions through this video. Now let us start with MTech RA. An M.Tech RA has to complete 11 courses and an M.Tech project along with their assistantship work in 3 years or 6 semesters. RAs usually take 3 courses per semester and complete all of their coursework in the first 4 semesters. In the 5th semester, they do not take any courses and focus on their M.Tech project and placement preparation. In the 6th semester, which is the last semester, they complete their M.Tech project and any coursework if remaining. Now let's talk about the program details of MTech TA. MTech TA and MTech RA both have the same coursework. So even TAs have to complete 11 courses and an MTech project, but their duration is 2 years or 4 semesters. TAs complete around 10 courses in the first 2 semesters. In the third semester, they do not take any courses. They focus on their MTech project and their placement preparation. In the fourth semester, they complete their MTech project and rest of the coursework. Now that you have covered the structure of both of these programs, let me lay out the pros and cons of both of them. TAs definitely get an early start to their career since their program duration is one year lesser as compared to MTech RAs. But since careers are 40 to 50 years long, I don't think it will matter much in the long term. MTech TA can get hectic sometimes since taking 4 to 5 courses in a semester along with the assistantship is not an easy task. Since TAs have to complete their coursework, and also maintain a good CGPA. Their choice of courses may not be always as per their interest. They need to keep a balance between difficult and easy courses which will help them to maintain a good CGPA. Whereas RAs can explore more and take up difficult courses since they have more time. Even if they score less in a particular course, they can take up additional courses to cover it up. Since RAs have more time, they can do great research work on their MTech project leading to a journal publication which might be difficult for an M.Tech TA. Some of my friends have also converted from M.Tech TA to M.Tech RA. Just because it is less hectic, they can explore more with courses and they can devote more time to their M.Tech project. Now these are just general trends. There are M.Tech TAs who take up difficult courses and do great work in their M.Tech project. Some of my TA friends have more CGPA than me in spite of them taking more courses in a semester. It is not always true that MTech RAs have a better profile and a better placement as compared to MTech TAs. It all depends on the work that you put in. Many students are hesitant to take up MTech RA because of its one year longer duration, but I think it is totally worth it. There are a lot of opportunities to learn at IIT Bombay. You can take up additional courses, you can devote more time to your MTech project, etc. If you do not have a time constraint, then you should definitely consider joining the MTech RA program. Lastly, your choice between MTech TA and MTech RA will also depend on the offers that you have received from other institutes. For example, if I have a choice between MTech TA at some other institute or MTech RA at IIT Bombay, then I would definitely choose MTech RA at IIT Bombay. But that is my personal preference and you need to weigh out the pros and cons for yourself and then decide. That was it for this video. I am sorry that I have not been consistent lately with the content. You can expect more weekly content on my channel. So please stay tuned for more. If you have any questions, then please let me know. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.